Hi friends, welcome back to Circle Time. My name is Miss Kaya and today we're going to be doing Circle Time together. We are going to be talking all about weather. Right now where I am, it's rainy outside. What kind of weather do you have where you live right now? Amazing. Anywhere we are, we have different types of weather happening throughout the day and throughout the week. We have de different temperatures too. So right now it's pretty warm where I am. Maybe it's a little bit cooler and you need to wear a light sweater or even a jacket where you are. Okay, friends, should we get into circle time? Do you remember what we do during circle time? We have our big stretch. We do our letters and numbers. Sometimes we read a story or a poem, and then we do a really cool science experiment, right? Okay, let's get started, friends. Do you like my tie-dye? Isn't that cool? There's different patterns and different shapes on my tie-dye. I know a lot of my friends have been doing tie-dye this summer too, and they've been wearing some really, really cool t-shirts. Have you done tie-dye at home? Cool. Maybe we can try it in one of our circle times. Okay, friends, let's get started with our big morning stretch. Or maybe it's afternoon where you are. It's lunchtime right now for me, so I'm going to do a big afternoon stretch with everyone. Okay, let's start. You can do this sitting down or you can stand up. So first we're gonna take our arms and put them up over our head and do a big stretch. And remember, we're gonna to stretch to the sides. So first we're gonna to stretch to our, uh, our right side. Almost got it mixed up there. This is our right side. Good job. We're gonna stretch over to our left side now. Good stretching. Now we're gonna stretch backwards. So see how I'm against a wall? I'm gonna make sure there's nothing behind me so that I have lots of space to stretch. Can you do the same? Okay, so I'm gonna move up and we're gonna stretch backwards with our hands over our head and go backwards. Nice job, my fingertips are almost touching the wall. Good job, nice and gentle. Okay, we've stretched our back. What else should we stretch? Let's stretch our legs. Do you see my knees? So right now I'm gonna sit like a butterfly and that means I'm gonna have my feet kiss and then I'm going to flap my butterfly wings which are my knees. Can you flap them up and down? Good job, flapping our wings up and down. Awesome, that's a really great stretch for our legs. Okay. Now we're gonna take our feet and let's stretch them out and try and touch our toes. You can't see my toes anymore, but I can see them in front of me. And I'm gonna take my arms and try and touch them. Can you touch your toes? Give it a try. That feels really, really nice. Good job, friends. Okay, we stretched our body a little bit. Let's practice our breathing. Remember, we like to breathe and practice our breathing um, with our cake. This is a really great opportunity to practice our breathing. Maybe when we get a little bit frustrated and we want to scream or we want to cry or we want to shout. This is a really great thing to do when you feel those feelings. Remember what we do? We breathe in through our nose and out through our mouth. And that's a really great thing to do when you feel frustrated. We all feel frustrated and that's totally okay, but it's not okay to shout and scream and cry all the time. We have to do other things to help our bodies calm down. And this is a really great technique. Okay, friends, can everyone picture there's a really nice cake in front of them? You can hold it in your hands like this. There's a nice cake and today, I think I would like a lemon cake. I love lemons so much. They smell so nice, especially in lemonade. So I'm gonna have a lemon cake. What flavor cake do you have? 
Okay, we have our cakes, we have our candles, we are going to breathe in and smell our cakes. Ready? Breathe in through our nose. And when we get to the top, we're going to blow out our candles. Ready? Good job. Should we do it one more time? Okay, let's smell our cakes. Breathe in through our nose. And blow out your candles. Good job, friends. So that's a really good thing to do when you start to feel frustrated, okay? Frustrated kind of means mad. So those are some really good things to do so you can remember that. You breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Okay, friends, awesome job. We've done our stretching, we've done our breathing. Let's do our letters and numbers. We'll start with our letters. My friends have been telling me they've been practicing their letters and numbers at home. Let's see what our new letter is this week. We'll go through the whole alphabet up into our new letter. Let's see if my friends can guess it. So we're gonna start from the beginning. What is the first letter of the alphabet? Hmm. A. And A is for Alligator, ah, ah, alligator. We have B as our next letter. B is for B, B, bear. Then we have the letter C. C is for C, C, cow. Then we have the letter D. D is for my favorite animal, dog, d, d, dog. Then we have the letter E. E is for eh, eh, elephant. Next, we have the letter F. F is for f, f, frog. Then we have the letter G. G is for g, g, goat. Then we have the letter H. H is for ha, ha, horse. Then we have the letter I. I is for i, i, insect. J is our next letter. J is for j, J jellyfish. Some of my friends made jellyfish the other week too. They look so cool with their ocean theme. Next we have the letter K for Miss Kaya. K K kangaroo. Then we have the letter L. L is for L L lion. Next we have the letter M. M is for m, m, monkey. Our new letter of the week comes after the letter M and it is N. It sounds a little bit like M, but it's a little bit different. These two letters look similar, but this is the letter M and this is the letter N. N is for n, n, Norwal. Wow, it has a thing on its head, it's like a horn. It's kind of like a unicorn, doesn't it look like one? Except Norwals are underwater. They're usually in the ocean. The letter N. Good job, friends. We are done our letters. Next, we have our numbers. Let's go through them. What number is this? One. One flamingo. One. Two. Two rhinos. One. Two. Three. Three turtles. One. Two. Three. Four, four peacocks. One, two, three, four. 
five. Five snails. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Six snakes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven fish. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight spiders. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight spiders. Nine birds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten ants. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good counting, friends. After 10 comes the number 11. And then what? After 11 comes 12 with a one and a two. 12. After the number 12, we had the number 13 with a one and a three. 13. After the number 13 is our new number and it is the number 14 with a one and a four. If you put them together, they make 14. Good job, friends. We're getting so high up in our numbers. I'm so proud of all of my friends for practicing their counting. Okay, I mentioned we were talking about weather this week and it's a rainy day where I am. We've been so lucky this summer to have lots and lots of sun and warm sun. And today it's a rainy day. And those are fun days too. You can play outside in the rain. You can go puddle jumping. You can look at the clouds. There's so many things to do when it's rainy. And I like to sing a song when it's rainy. So for this song, you can stand up or you can sit down. It's really up to you. Just make sure there's a little bit of room around you so there's no friends, no furniture in the way. And I haven't done this song in a while. Maybe you've heard the tune. It's called Teddy Bear, Teddy Bear. I love that song. So I made this one about raindrops because there's lots and lots of raindrops all around me right now. So this is a bit of an action song. So my friends can sing it with me and you can also do the actions and you can even make them up if you really want to get silly. Okay, it goes like this. Raindrop, raindrop, turn around. Raindrop, raindrop, touch the ground. The song tells you exactly what to do. Raindrop, raindrop, touch your nose. Raindrop, raindrop, touch your toes. Raindrop, raindrop, hop, hop, hop. Raindrop, raindrop, drop, drop, drop. Raindrop, raindrop, run, run, run. Raindrop, raindrop, here's the sun. Raindrop, raindrop, sit nearby. Raindrop, raindrop, wave goodbye. Amazing. Did you recognize that song? Some of my friends know the teddy bear song and it, it's the exact same except we say teddy bear instead of raindrop. So I switched it up with the word raindrop because we're talking about weather and rain is a type of weather. Should we do it one more time? Okay. Remember you can stand up or you can sit down whatever you're comfortable with. Raindrop, raindrop, turn around. Raindrop, raindrop, touch the ground. Raindrop, raindrop, touch your nose. Raindrop, raindrop, touch your toes. Raindrop, raindrop, hop, hop, hop. Raindrop, raindrop, drop, drop, drop. Raindrop, raindrop, run, run, run. Raindrop, raindrop, here's the sun. Raindrop, raindrop, sit nearby. Raindrop, raindrop, 
wave goodbye. Nice job, friends. That's a really fun song to sing outside or inside on a sunny day, on a rainy day. Maybe you can switch up the words. Okay, friends, should we do our science experiment now? Okay, we've been talking lots about rain. So I thought it'd be really cool to do a rain experiment to see how clouds and rain look. You can do this one at home too. So I have a jar full of water. Does everyone see my water? I'm going to add some clouds to it using some shaving cream. Shaving cream is so fun to play with and it actually smells pretty nice. Let's make sure it works. So these are going to be my clouds sitting high up in the sky. I'm gonna shake my shaving cream really, really well and I'm gonna pour it on top of my water. Whoa, so, oh my goodness, so many clouds, wow. Do you see my clouds in my jar? They're sitting on top of the water. They look like really big fluffy clouds. Next, I'm going to take some blue food coloring. Blue food coloring. We use this a lot in our activities. And this is going to be my rain. And we're gonna watch rain come through the clouds and into the water and it looks so cool. So let's give it a few drops. See, it's sitting in the clouds there. Let's do another. Oh, that one was really cool. It went to another layer. I don't know if my raindrops will get through. I've got some thick clouds. Let's try another spot. Oh, oh, it started. That's so cool. Should we do one more? I think so too. It's starting to go. It's so cool. We created little raindrops. Let's do one over here. Let me turn it for my friends. See if it'll go through here. Oh, look at it. That's so cool. What do you think will happen if I leave my cloud jar for a while? Hmm. Do you think my clouds will disappear? Maybe. Do you think it'll keep raining? Maybe, look, it's starting to rain. How cool is that? Wow, look at that. I could look at this all day. It's really cool to watch. So you can try that experiment at home with some water, a jar, some shaving cream, and some food coloring. Super cool to do. Okay, friends, we're gonna put our rain activity away for today and we will say goodbye. Thank you so much, friends, for joining me today for Circle Time. I hope you enjoyed it. And tell me what kind of weather there is where you live. Is it sunny? Is it rainy? Is it cloudy? Is it hot? Is it cold? Is it snowy? There's so many different kinds of weather and it changes all the time. It might be rainy in the morning and sunny in the afternoon. It might be cloudy in the morning and snowing in the afternoon. Who knows, weather is always changing. So go outside and look at the weather in your area. I hope you all enjoyed circle time today and I will see my friends very, very soon. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.